Okay, today is December 15, 2015. I thought I'd uh, do a uh, video before uh, tomorrow's uh, interest rate announcement from the uh, Fed. So uh, let's just go over some of the uh, market indexes and then uh, we go and take a look at some of the stock. So we kind of have some idea of where we at and uh, what uh, you know where it might go and what are some of the levels that uh, that we might want to keep an eye on. So on the S and P 500, and we saw it came down to this uh, 1990 and bounced back up to this 2020 uh, level here. So right now it's kind of got back over that. And uh, and uh, you know the uh, next level that we probably be looking at will be this uh, pivot point. But the key level here is most likely this uh, 2130 because that's the uh, the all-time high level. And it's uh, you know if the uh, uh, S&P 500 uh, able to uh, get above this pivot, then there's a good chance that uh, probably will come and tag this uh, all-time high, and then probably give it a, a one last push and get get this market blow blow off, and uh, maybe uh, we get that uh, that rollover that uh, so many people have been waiting for and, and anticipating with all these. Uh, you know historical pattern comparison and everything else but anyway the uh, market gonna do what it's gonna do and it's gonna play itself out before uh, this thing rolls over although there's a lot of negative breath and a lot of you know other negative stuff that kind of support that the market should be or, or shouldn't be as high as it is right now but you know as uh, as always when, uh, when when most people expect one thing the market will do the other so just hold on it will come uh, but before that, we're going to have a little fun on the upside. So that's the uh, S&P 500. Uh, let's quickly uh, uh, go take a look at the uh, the spider anyway. So uh, look at the spy. We were basically looking at, you know, before this pullback, saying that it's going to pull back to this, uh, you know, 202, 200 level here. Right? And uh, so it, it did that and came down and test some of these pivot. This was the uh, September uh, FOMC meeting announcement that kind of disappointed everybody that were anticipating the uh, the interest rate hike, uh, and it uh, it didn't come. So uh, people was kind of kind of disappointed. So who knows? We might see something like that. You know, get, uh, uh, so there's still you know a lot of people was uh, thinking that the uh, say foregone conclusion that the uh, the height is going to come tomorrow. So, but uh, anything is possible. Uh, you know, if it come, it come. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But uh, we deal with it when it happen or whatever might happen. So anyway, uh, we're basically looking at this, uh, coming back up at that, uh, this uh, 204.40. And again, we are essentially looking up at this uh, 211, 212 area. And here's the all-time high, 213.78. So uh, right now, if it's going to come down, it could conceivably come back down and maybe tag this uh, trend line down here. Because, uh, you know, it got a little bit of a... Uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, upward trend line here, kind of form a nice little bit of an intermediate pillar or uh, trend line here with all these points connected. So you might just want to keep an eye on this level, that it might come back down and retest this level, and it might even spook uh, the market a little bit and come down and uh, and test this uh, uh, trend line before we make a little bounce. So and uh, let's uh, take a look at the uh, the Dow Jones Industrial. The Dow Jones Industrial is also kind of trending up. You know, came down, kind of tagged the 17,000, and now it's coming back up to the 17,600. So we're probably looking for this thing to come back up to the 16,000. Maybe we'll talk about the 16,000 level. So if we come back up to the 16,000 level, then there's a good chance that it's going to go and uh, try to make a run at the all-time high. Whether it's going to make an all-time high or not, that uh, that's going to be uh, uh, questionable. So uh, it is a little bit, uh, you know, distant away. Uh, but uh, you never know when it uh, decide to run. All they have to do is just run a couple of these Dow stock uh, because the way the uh, the index is weighted. So uh, just keep an eye on that. Uh, again, yeah, don't tell me or anybody how many of the stock is under the 200-day moving average and all this good stuff. Okay, we know. Everybody know. <laughs> okay, if not everybody, most of the people know. Right. So that's why don't go and pick the stock. Just trade the index. Okay, they're gonna manipulate the index. Uh, so the the easy thing to trade right now is the index. If you're gonna try to pick the stock, you're just gonna get whips all out. Uh, I have, and it's not fun. So so just trade the index, and uh, and we look at the uh, Nasdaq 100. The uh, Nasdaq 100 seems like you're making a double top, but uh, again, I'm basically saying you know early on, 
this number is going to be taken out this 4816 it might seem a little bit uh, uh, crazy right now you know looking at it but uh, uh, again just go back and look at year 2000 the NDX I mean you know the Nasdaq 100 is the last one that make this uh, all-time high of that tech bubble now you might say this time is different maybe but look at all these evaluation on a lot of those IPO you know that's kind of got inflated even though you know the biotech the biotech is always a spec you know speculative bubble no matter what cycle or, or which time it is there's always those you know snake oil salesmen that sell these pharmaceutical and and, and biotech about the you know the the wonder drug that these company going to come up with and how big the company going to be and the valuation yada 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 okay so don't tell me about that i don't i don't need to hear that okay so just look at these uh, tech bubble stuff, right? Focus on the tech. That's where they're gonna run it. Okay. So let's look at the Q. All right. So again, you look at the Q. Same thing. So they're gonna pull back to this 108.88 somewhere around here. All right. So you can see that it pulled back close to it. It didn't get quite there. You know. I mean, it got down to uh, 10. What's that? Uh, what's that number here? Uh, what happened to my uh, panel? Let me go find my data panel so I can see what that number is. Okay. So, and uh, that low is uh, 109.38. So it came down to 109.38. Uh, almost tagged this uh, 618, you know, the 109.26. Okay, we're basically looking at this pivot here. Is this 108.88 uh, something, 108.87 something, something like that. Okay. So, so that's basically what we're looking at. It's uh, coming down, but it popped itself back up above this level here, this pivot level, which is uh, 111.46. Okay, so again, we're basically looking for this thing to come up and tag this. And I don't want to just see a tag and a pull back. This thing is going to flush up over there, you know, blow this thing out and could probably get up to this 120. And I am holding at some, uh, some long dated uh, uh, call that will play this 120. Okay, so, and then the uh, Russell 2000, right, so the Russell 2000 is kind of a little problem here, okay, it's not moving, which is uh, kind of expected, these uh, small cap and also the biotech, right, so kind of looking at this trend line here, right, so let me, uh, maybe I should have used the other tool, let me do this, uh, let me get this thing here. Okay, so we're essentially looking at this thing here, right? You know, something like this. Okay. Uh, let me get this, get the line a little bit more thicker. Hmm. Here we go. Okay, so basically looking at this thing, right? This, this here. Okay. All right, so it's kind of trending on this channel here. Uh, kind of looking at this 11.04, if it uh, break through this 11.04, good chance that it's come down and going to attack this uh, 11.49. Right. So right now, basically looking to see can it get back up here. Right. But uh, you know, it all depends what kind of participation it will get when the other index is going to make a little run. Okay. So uh, 1,200 is kind of you know, trying to get back up at this 1,200. It's unable to uh, to hold it, and it, it just kind of get pounded back down to this 11 uh, 1104. So this the uh, low here. So this low here. Let me see what that low is. Okay, so it's like uh, 1078 or something like that. Yeah, 1078 63. Okay. So so that's basically the Russell 2000, and if we want to look at the IWM, uh, where did I put the IWM? Here we go. Okay, so you can see I got this uh, channel on the IWM, came down and tagged this about 110, somewhere around this 110 area. So we're going to see, would it be able to come back up and bounce along with it, or is it just going to, you know, get a little bit of a fake out and break, break down, break below this trend line, and then come back down to this level here, somewhere around this 107. Okay, if we could, uh, you know, continue to bounce off of this trend line and look for it to come up, maybe this 117, 118. Uh, I'm not sure would it be able to get back up above this 120 and try to tag this, uh, you know, 122, 123. Okay, so essentially, let's get up to that 123 level. Okay, so 
those are the indexes uh, let's take a look at a uh, couple of the stock here and uh, one of the one that uh, almost everybody is watching is Apple and uh, we say Apple is going to pull back to this one eleven level right so it came down uh, you know uh, uh, kind of tag it punched you and then pop back up and then today it closed below it so got to be careful on Apple We've always been looking at this 105 uh, 99 as a major support okay so so that uh, that level have to hold if it's not then it's, it's gonna come back down and then we tag uh, you know we test this uh, August uh, number here so if Apple could uh, you know hold up at this 111 and come back up you know get it back above this 114 22 and uh, maybe it, uh, come back and try to tag this uh, this trend line, this 119.75. We say that you know Apple has to get above this 122.82. Essentially, get above this one, uh, you know, 124. Right? Get above this pivot, fill this gap, then it might come up and uh, tag this uh, closing high, 133. So right now it's uh, having a little problem holding this 111. Essentially, this pivot here. Okay, and if you can't hold this pivot, then we're basically looking at this 105.99. And that number is basically is uh, this close here, uh, somewhere around here. Okay, All right, this number here. Okay, this uh, January 16 close. Okay, that's the number. Okay, so okay, so that's Apple. And uh, next one, we want to take a look at. Uh, let me see here what we got uh, Netflix okay uh, Netflix is uh, holding nicely on this trend line got a little pop-up uh, went above this uh, this previous all-time high and put in a new high then it came back down right? okay it came back down to this uh, test this 115 right? on this 115 and it popped back up so right now it's in inside this uh, retracement zone this very notchy retracement zone is a 618 and a 382 Okay, so if we could get back above this uh, uh, retracement zone, then there's a good chance that it could come up and try to tag these highs again. Okay, but if it doesn't hold, then chances are it's going to come down and test this trend line and possibly uh, get back and uh, to retest this 101.86. But right now, we're essentially looking for this thing to maybe you know do a little zigzag and then kind of do a, what I call a U-turn and then maybe get it up here. So we'll see what the uh, well, would it do that or not? Okay, so we we'll just kind of keep an eye on that. Otherwise, then uh, we'll look forward to uh, come down and maybe uh, test this trend line and uh, possibly uh, might uh, fail this time and break through it and break below it. So, and here's Facebook. Facebook still hugging up uh, at this uh, trend line here. Remember, we got this big price channel. Okay, and uh, so right now, I uh, gotta be careful on this because it could turn up to be a head and shoulder right you know or, or a uh, double top here uh, by the way I think I might want to go back and revisit some of those charts on Apple and that kind of stuff because I want to show that uh, there is a potential for a head and shoulder forming uh, so we got to watch this uh, for Facebook and if we could get above this um, you know this little downtrend break this little downtrend here then uh, you know it could get back up uh, to this uh, 107.95 extension of 108, and, and and then you know make it up to this trend line. Then extension it will put in a new high. Okay, but if you can't do that, then look for uh, this 100 level because there's a little gap here that still need to be filled. Okay, so it might come down and fill that gap. Okay, so let's go back to uh, I think uh, not Netflix. I think it was the spider, yeah. Let's uh, well, also Apple as well. If we uh, take a look at Apple, okay, uh, a lot of people are thinking that there might be a uh, head and shoulder here, right? You know, uh, it could, you know, because it's not ideal because you got this little big spike here, but that's okay, you know. We could call this, you know, sort of like a head and shoulder because the key thing is this particular support level. If we break this support level again, it's 105.99, right? If it break that support level, then it's you know trouble ahead. So what it really is it boils down to is either you could call this you know if it uh, turned down like this, you could call this a little bit of a double top, 
right? Unless you call this a little bit of a left shoulder, this kind of little dinky left shoulder. But in regardless, uh, you know, if you do this, you know, if you got a head and shoulder that you do a major move, you're still using this to do the major move anyway, right? And if you have a, a double top, uh, you still use this as your major move. So doesn't matter what pattern it is, the major move is going to be the same. And that will take you down to somewhere around 75 area, okay, if that's the case. Then going back to spider, I think the spider have a, have a pattern, all right, okay. So got to watch that a little bit. Uh, well, here's his head and shoulder here. Because I remember some other stock or something. Well, anyway, uh, maybe when I see it, as I go and move along, okay. So uh, we got Facebook, uh, and then we gonna talk about Google. Okay, here's Google. All right. So remember talking about that gap came up, okay, and we say you gotta uh, you know hold this uh, support here, you know this gap here. If it come down, then uh, most likely you get this gap fill. So right now it came down to the 734 and got a little bounce here. This is the one, right? You know, if it doesn't take out, come up and take out this trend line, put it at a new high, okay? And maybe possibly get up to this X20 level. Then there's a possibility, let's say it stalled out when it got up here and it start coming back down. So now we got this head and shoulder here, okay, for Google to, uh, you know, then it, it, it could, you know, that could, uh, uh, you know, bring it down. So let's see uh, what is that uh, major move. So essentially, if we do something like this, right? So 100%, essentially, bring it down to this trend line here, which is somewhere around 673. You know, this uh, 1618, 60%, 80%, somewhere around here, then it kind of fill the gap here, somewhere around, eight, uh, you know what I mean, uh, 680, 690, 670 area here. So so look for this trend line here. If we break, you know, form this head and shoulder pattern, then the chances are it's going to come down, make sure move, it's going to tag pretty close this uh, this trend line, you know, the lower trend line, this price channel. Okay, so, so you might want to take a look at that and keep an eye on that. Okay, uh, what else? Uh, let's take a look at Baba. Uh, uh, Alibaba, ever since they booked this downtrend, right, this long term downtrend, ever since you know the IPO PQ and came down and booked this downtrend here, right, okay, and it kind of running, been been running on this channel, this this uh, this channel here. Then recently, just kind of booked that channel, and uh, but it's tagging this level here, the 79.54, right? You know, essentially this support level. Okay, so we're gonna see can it uh, you know get back above this trend line? And essentially, want to see could it break this? Right? You know, here's the uh, the things that we want to look at. So if we could break above this uh, pivot high here. And maybe we could get up to this 127 extension, this one 94, and that would be essentially come back up and tag this uh, pivot high here. Okay, so that's what I'm looking at on, uh, you know, you know, on Alibaba, you know, to see can it hold hold this level and and take out this, uh, you know, this uh, this 80 8642, this pivot high here, okay, and then work yourself up to at least this uh, 127, uh, so and retest this pivot, okay. So uh, that's it for tonight, and uh, good luck, and be careful tomorrow. Don't watch.